Um, I just realized I don't have a fuel filter. I guess we're going to stop and grab one on our way on our way to work this evening, and we might as well stop and get stuff to service my motorcycle, and then we'll have to continue back with this tomorrow. guys it takes your expensive truck to the jiffy lube or these vaveline lube places um just well as joe diffie would say uh set your truck on fire roll it down a hill and trade it in for a coupe de ville all right we got our oil change got our new air filter on now let's get started on the fuel filter first thing you want to do Jack your truck up, take the wheel off, and pull the fender wheel out. Push this tab, uh, fastener right here out. It holds your ABS wire. Don't forget that, because if you do, you will break your ABS wire. So definitely get that out. You have eight screws holding your fender wheel on. And they run all through here. Take them out. It only takes a couple seconds. All right, after you pull your fender well out, as you can see, we have way more room to get to our fuel filter right there. All right, unplug your water sensor harness. Press, just press the tab in right there, you'll see it. Sometimes it can be aggravating. I always tuck this tuck it somewhere up here in these other wires to get it out of the way all right next you're gonna want to drain your filter just turn it counterclockwise i'm using a bottle right now because i can't find my hose that i normally use to drain it out in a pan but anyway when you get it loose you'll feel the drain Feel it drop down just like that right there see how it's dropped down and wait on the diesel fuel to drain out it don't get it all out most time you still make a mess when you take the filter housing off but we're probably going to always put a bag over it and then unscrew it out to catch any fuel that didn't drain this way all right underneath the filter housing the way you unscrew this off is use a half, it, half inch drive and it goes this under the bottom, just like if you're changing your oil. You'll see whenever I turn this a little bit, but there's no room under here whatsoever to hardly work with this. I mean, you just turn very little, just a little bit at a time till you get it loose enough to uh, see. Now you can see I can't go any further. So I'm going to have to pull the ratchet out and come in from this, come in from this side over here. Never mind, I think I can unscrew it by hand the rest of the way. Make sure you got a pan underneath to catch the diesel fuel because it does come, it, do, it never all drains out. It just won't do it. But I'm also going to use a bag for extra security to catch a lot of it. So hopefully, I can unscrew this by hand.
All right, we got our fuel filter out. All you gotta do, stick your finger in there and pull out. That's it. Old one out. We're gonna clean this up on the inside and back in with the new. All right. Um, don't forget to take your old O-ring off. Comes with a new one with every new oil filter. So get rid of that. And you want to oil this with motor oil. So we'll get our motor oil right here. Put our new one on, maybe. Put a new filter in. It just snaps in there, like it right there. You'll need, make sure these little tabs are just flush. All right, let's put it back in the truck. Right, snake this back through. Most time I can get them back on without using the, my half inch drive like I just did. But getting it off sucks, I guess because of all the pressure. All right, all we gotta do now is hook our water sensor harness back up. It's hard to work from this angle. I like to come in this way. And that's it for installing it. All we gotta do now is prime the truck. All right, to prime the truck, just turn the ignition over, or cut it on, I mean. And all you gotta do is, fuel pump just stopped, bump the starter, just bump it. And if you notice, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but the fuel pump will run for about 20 seconds. You're gonna to wanna to do this three times in a row. Then cut the ignition completely off, turn the ignition back on the fourth time, and start the truck. All right, we've bumped the starter three times to prime the fuel up. And let's see if it'll start. I always wait till my cluster gets done checking itself. And it's running. Well, guys, that's all there is to it. Um, don't forget to check for leaks. And put your wheel and your fender wheel back in and you're done. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you guys do this at home and stop paying people to do this. Because it's, in my opinion, stupid to pay somebody to do something no longer than it takes. See you next time.